Greetings, everyone. My name is Nishan Nix, and um, in honor of Black History Month, I'd like to read a little quote uh, by Frederick Douglass. It is easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. Uh, a lot of times we talk about uh, freedom in our country, the Mason-Dixon line. Well, actually, the first place for freedom for blacks and Africans was Fort Mose, which is also located in the First Coast, a little north of St. Augustine. Uh, looking at our city and our history, when blacks weren't allowed to be educated, they built their own school called Edward Waters College. When blacks weren't allowed to get proper health care, they built, they built their own hospital called Brewster's. When blacks weren't allowed to integrate Major League Baseball, they founded their own Southern League of Colored Baseballists. When we weren't able to stand for the national anthem, James Weldon Johnson, he wrote one for us. One of the first female black millionaires, Miss Eartha White, uh, adopted daughter of Clara White, when her people couldn't find access to nutrition and food, she fed them. Uh, when we look at the fastest man in the world, you look at Bullet Bob Hayes. When you look at the first African-American sheriff, Nat Glover, uh, the first African-American mayor, Alvin Brown, Jacksonville has a lot of rich history right here. Now, when I look at 32206, it's over-policed and underprotected. Uh, when you look at Pippin Street during Jaguar games, you got small black businesses that want to make money, but police stop tourists from coming that far to spend money. However, uh, Mother Pearl, she says that the children have to go to that same area for the bus stops at 6 o'clock. The police say one of the issues with solving these crimes is that when you see something, you need to say something. But when I talk to the owner of the coin laundry store, uh, laundry mat across the street, she says that the police ride up and down these streets all night and see people selling drugs. They tell us when we see something to say something, but when they see something, they don't say nothing. So then who really polices that community? They complain for lack of resources, access to technology, small business development, but this is just folks trying to get by. My name is Nishan Nix. Thank you for listening.